We've got we've got Jonathan. Jonathan, you are with. So Jonathan Franconi is with Guard Insurance Group. Guard Insurance Group. Yes. He actually wears multiple hats. <laughs> He's a network administration. He does store uh, storage administration, all sorts of stuff. So we're gonna. He's actually a blogger and. He's got so, oh, that's right. I, actually, you did a big take on <laughs> the announcement, didn't you? Did you did, didn't you just do a write up on yeah. it? Yes, yes. yes so, so what was good? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting right to Everything the nitty gritty there. No, 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 no. Actually, let's just, <laughs> let's talk about your hats. Uh, <laughs> I didn't wear them today, so <laughs> <laughs> should have brought props. Yeah, right. Uh, so basically, my day to day job is a, a network administrator, storage administrator, VMware administrator, and environment, a small business environment. Uh, for Guard Insurance Group, okay. And uh, on the side, I have uh, my blog, uh, VirtualizationBuster.com, along with. Uh, I think I have it up. Yes, you do. I see it there. <laughs> yeah. uh, along with uh, HandsOnVirtualization.com, which was launched about three months ago with a partner of mine over in the UK, Barry Coombs. Uh, he carry, uh, covers a lot of the uh, material that's occurring over in London. Okay. Uh, and I cover some of the stuff that's occurring over here in the United States. Uh, it's a little tough for him to get from London over to here oh, for, totally. these, uh, for these events, but. Uh, well, you've actually been going to all sorts of events yes. here in the U.S. Yes, I, I was actually uh, attended the very first Equalogic User Conference okay. uh, back in uh, Dallas, Texas, uh, two years ago, and I attended the uh, last conference in San Diego. So uh, it, it's definitely grown. Uh, the yeah. very first conference, I think, it was only about 100. 100 they, they cut it off. Uh, 150 users okay. so uh, we've definitely grown uh, every single conference and it's gotten bigger and obviously with a combination of compellent and the uh, Cedra have been together okay. and something gotten bigger so so like good. yeah yeah exactly so on one of your blogs mm -hmm. you you did do a write-up and sure. can you kind of give us an overview of that I mean we could sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> we could read it out loud. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> well, Sorry, you were going to say that, weren't you? I knew you were going to say that. I, I decided there, not to there. <laughs> just sit here with my hands crossed and <laughs> listen to you guys. But basically, I, my first uh, synopsis was a day one synopsis of yesterday, which uh, you know was a big day for the hands-on labs. Yeah. So in the previous two conferences, there was, there was tons of talk about you know what, what what can we do better? What can we add to our to the Ecologic user conferences? What can we you know from the users and from the attendees? What can we add? And when the top uh, uh, request was hand on labs mm -hmm. and uh, this year uh, the great ecologic team of you know, Will Urban and Dave Glenn uh, were just two of the individuals that were part of the setting of the labs uh, there's many others but those are the two that yeah. popped in my head first uh, did a great job setting up a phenomenal lab uh, for ecologic PS uh, 6010 XV arrays it just uh, rolls right off his tongue. I know. Yeah, I know. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a phenomenal lab. We, we have a, an awesome blade center chassis uh, operating the lab environment. Yeah. One and a half terabytes of RAM. This was posted in my blog from last night. Uh, phenomenal. I ran through a couple of labs yesterday, a SQL lab, a data protection lab, an ASM. Okay. So i got to so ask all you. All kinds of stuff. So i got to ask you. So what do you, actually, what, you, what do, you do at a hands-on lab? What are you actually doing there? Well, you know, that, and that was one of the things that we all mentioned last time. We, Ecologic offers all these great features and functions and, and technologies, but we, we all don't have a lab environment where we work, you know, to try out these new features and break it. and. You know. So you're pulling disk drives and cables uh, well, and stuff like no. that and see what happens? Well, uh. they won't let us test these or uh, touch those uh, arrays right. like that. All, right. <laughs> All the Too software bad. functions and features, if you you, know, you know, purchase a brand new array and you put it up in your environment, what do I do next? How do mm -hmm. I use it? Okay. Um, so provisioning, provisioning and things like that. Your storage, setting up your group, uh, configuring replication, your, your auto, auto snapshot manager uh, for, for Microsoft and uh, for VMware. All the integrations and, and features in the software that are included in your Equalogic array uh, that a lot of people don't know they already have when they purchase one. So okay. you know, yeah. we're able to play with all that in the hands-on lab. And, and we just had Pete Course and Travis here talking mm -hmm. about embedding scalable yes. file system into into Equalogic. Mm -hmm. So did is is that in the lab? Yes, it is. It okay. is in the in the lab environment. They didn't have it up and running yesterday, obviously, because it wasn't announced yet. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> have a white sheet uh, over it. Right. Yeah, well, they did actually. So. Did they? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they, they okay. didn't. They had it off the side hidden, but it's he, there now. Yeah. So there's a hands-on lab to play with that. Though. Here at the conference, they actually do uh, have you know NDA type. Oh, yes. uh, Con or sessions and right. stuff. So, I mean, that's one thing that people might not know coming in. Yeah. Is that are those really useful? Definitely. Uh, NDA session you know, was 
was one of the things that started back in the very first ecological conference and okay. it's really awesome uh, to be able to sit there and see what what was engineering working on outside yeah. everything that they're working on but some of the key pieces that they're working on some of the things that the customers really want and where they stand with them in the development of the product so it, NDA sessions are really awesome yeah I know, I know when I was on the buying side of IT the, sure uh, one of the things you hated was to go buy something and then then, then, then the 4D <laughs> version came out, right. and it's like, yeah, why did you tell me about that the 4D happens. phone? Yeah. Right. I know. Or version 2.0, you know, 3.0. Yeah. Yeah. Or even 2.3, that right. should be at a 3.0. <laughs> right. yeah. That's right, definitely. Okay. Yeah. So, so what? The, those are kind of the things that you've been having fun mm -hmm. with at the conference. Looking forward to the rest of the conference. Is there anything specific that you're just gearing up for and getting ready for? Uh, well, there's a couple of good sessions coming up um, that that I always look forward to every year. A uh, couple of sessions on uh, some of the software integrations that Ecologic offers. Uh, the hands-on labs. There's many labs in there. I, I keep talking about those, but they're a really great yeah. uh, experience for people that are new in the Ecologic platform and okay. others that are even more advanced. At, haven't had time to really work with all of the features in their environment. Um, but I'm looking forward to, you know, finishing out the conference uh, strong. And, you know, there's, there's all kinds of stuff going on. The party on Wednesday night uh, over at Epcot. We can't miss out I wasn't that. invited to the party. You work. Oh, you need to talk to somebody. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> I hear it from you. That's not good. <laughs> So, um, you, like you said, you know, your focus has been kind of Equalogic, and um, where, what do you think of, of how that's been, you know, transitioned and, and how it's moving forward within Dell? As far as Equalogic is concerned, I really think that Dell's been doing a, a phenomenal job with, with even with after the compellent purchase, and we're seeing yeah. a continuing integration and, and, and development and research into the product uh, and expanding it. So I really feel I mean, the support hasn't changed. It's been, you know, I haven't had to use it very often, but when I have, it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been very good, thankfully. Yeah. Uh, but I, I really see that the product is moving forward well, okay. and I, I expect it to continue that way. They yeah. have a lot of cool things coming along down the pipe. Do you think there's anything that, from your point of view, mm -hmm. that they learned with Equalogic and then moved into, you know, adjusting with Compellent? Um, I think they, they've learned how to integrate the product a little bit better into, into, into the market, uh, into the marketplace itself. And uh, I think they, they're continuing to, to learn from that, from those yeah. expectations so, that, that the customers are expecting. Okay. Now, you're a big virtualization user, yes, right? Big time. Mm -hmm. So, yep. mostly VMware? Yes, all VMware. All VMware. Yep, all Not Hyper-V? No, no Even Hyper -V. though it's free. Hyper-V, yeah. even though it's free. Uh, technically, uh, VMware's hey, free. You're trying also, to right? rhyme, yeah. John. <laughs> I was trying for a little, I was trying. It yeah. worked. Well, yeah. you did. You did it do it. Did right. That's right. Did. Well, well, I mean, VMware. We know, you know, there's free SXI, you know, hypervisor. It gives you a certain yeah. you know, limitations, yeah. but you know, technically, but, it's free also. Right. You know, to a point. <laughs> okay. Of course. To a point. Right. Five. I'm, oh, I can't say too much more. You can't, yeah. <laughs> so you're under NDA on yeah, VSphere well, sure. five. Yeah, of course. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come on, just how, how many virtual servers? Else. No, you can't do that. How many, <laughs> how many virtual servers are you running? Uh, right now we have um, well, we have two separate clusters of about four hosts each. Uh, so we're roughly around around twelve hosts right now is where we have uh, I think some local storage. Twelve physical hosts. hosts. Twelve physical hosts. So it's around one hundred uh, virtual machines. One hundred virtual machines. Okay. okay. Yep. So how did you get into virtualization? What was it that that made you go that direction? Well, I, th I think it was just the technology. I, I was involved with virtualization just... before like, it was even virtualization. Okay. You know, was, what was it? It was virtualization, <laughs> but it was slow. <laughs> oh, it was, didn't have the so title. It didn't have the, the title that uh, everyone has so, today. So, but you were using yeah. it for test and dev? Yeah, test, like, before okay. that, it was test and dev. You know, you're, you know, before Intel had virtualization technology, yep. because into their chips, and you know, you're running one VM on your laptop or your yeah. desktop, and it was like, okay, we're, how are we going to ever use this? Where, where's this use case going to be? Now look at today. Where, you know, it's, we're, if it's you're it. not using it, you're, you're, you're losing out on it. Right, right. Everything, so. But are there some, um, you know, negative things about virtualization or things that you think need to be fixed in the industry uh, itself? I think licensing could be a little, a little cheaper. Everyone wants things cheaper, but I think licensing... You want free. <laughs> right, everyone wants free. Hyper-V? No. Uh, yeah, Hyper-V. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> So, it's, so licensing, licensing is an issue. What be. about some? Sometimes I hear from virtualization customers that it, it starts to get really complex. Performance management starts to get complex in a virtualized environment because you get workloads that start 
running crazy. I haven't had that issue in our environment. We, we, we utilize, uh, obviously, vCenter, but we utilize uh, Veeam monitor, okay. Veeam products in our so environment. So good monitoring tools important. Yes, uh, definitely. And uh, they have really helped us prevent any workload capacity issues or, or virtual you know, host issues. Okay. So I, I swear by their products. They're a great, great company, and, and they have a great product line. Any other tools that you use? I use Veeam Backup for our, our, our backup and recovery. Okay. Yeah, I know backup's been issues. talked about yes. a lot yeah. in, the, in the virtualized environment. Yeah, it's, it's definitely yeah. Uh, a popular topic. Um, we we I started off using Veeam, uh, you know, a few right when I started getting into virtualization, and their product has just continued to take off, mm -hmm. and it's been phenomenal. So that's what we uh, we try to use uh, for most of our products. What about VDI? You done VDI? Uh, we have a proof of concept deployment of VDI going on. I've heard that. Right now, I've so. heard POC a lot. Yeah, POC is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't gotten to the point yet of a full onslaught of deployment. I think really, uh, in our environment, one of the challenges that we had was uh, we have every single person in our company is running dual monitors, uh, which is which is pretty nice. Uh, but uh, my editor <laughs> has uh, four monitors. Yeah, well, <laughs> four. My son had three. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that was one of our challenges. Back two years ago, you know, Vue 4.0 and yep. 4.5 was, I think, the first version. I think about versions now. We're talking about versions yeah. all over the place. One of those versions were the first versions that, that brought in true dual monitor support um, natively mm. to the thin clients. Uh, now with 4.6 and uh, true PC over IP to the, to the actual thin clients, we're able to do tr true native, smooth, dual screen support so that's where our proof of concept but VDI are. is more complex than it is server virtualization oh, it definitely. seems and so definitely. Why, why is that um, I think just because the sheer number of VMs that you have when you when you start deploying all those desktops um, I think it comes down to management a little bit um, I think the management tools are getting better as we're moving forward with the view releases um, I, I'm not a Citrix guy, so I'm not. I'm okay. Not okay. So, yeah, okay. Desktop, so I won't ask you. You're not no. under NDA with Citrix. You can't. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay. No, I'm not. Uh, right. But the uh, the view view has gotten better with that, um, and, and so has vCenter and, and, and their product. So I see that getting better as we move along. Okay. Let's go back to the scalable file system for sure. for a second. Are there workloads where you weren't deploying um, Equalogic where you can deploy them now, and and, and, and how's that going to fit in? Sure. Uh, previously, we were, we were usually concentrating most of our deployments on local hosts, uh, and now since we're running all Equalogic as our storage, you know we're able to deploy SQL and Exchange on, on Equalogic storage and really scale that performance, you know, in a tiered workload fashion and, and gain that performance of the, the disk across different RAID volumes. And of course, with firmware 5.1, we're looking at a 5% increase in performance and load balancing across our, our storage pools and across our arrays. So it's just going to get better. Now we're talking a lot about unstructured data in the context of scalable file systems. So is that the area of biggest growth for you, or where is your biggest growth? Um, a scalable file systems a little bit for us. I think our biggest growth is just uh, our, our day to day uh, file system growth itself. And we use a lot of uh, direct attached storage for that. I see. Uh, okay. uh, Power Vault stuff, just because it's a little cheaper and, and it's a great and, product line. And they've got scalable file system in yes. the Power Vault. Yes, now and they too, also so. have some Power Vault laps that uh, ah. people uh, Okay, yeah, so, so you, you got your hands cool. on that too. Yes, definitely. definitely. All right. Yeah, yeah, good product line. Excellent. And so you're one of your partners with mm -hmm. your. Uh, with your po podcasts yes. or your website, yes. um, it, Barry Coombs. Yes, Barry he's Coombs. out. He's been doing Tech Camp in London. Yes, starts is that uh, today. Yes. Okay. Out in London, and uh, he'll be covering that event uh, as best he can. But okay. he'll be out there, and uh, he'll be covering some stuff on our blogs uh, and doing some cross posting on some things going out there. I'm sure Good. some of the stuff that's being announced here is also being announced out there. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, the connection between both of those. And you guys will be covering all yep. of that. Uh, Definitely. What what else do you? Um, well, we just mentioned uh, our, our two podcasts we, we recorded. Yeah. Uh, we have first our first podcast was with Will Urban from Ecologic Engineering. Okay. We reviewed uh, the ASM uh, hit kit for for Linux and uh, also for VMware, and our, our most recent podcast we did uh, with Veeam uh, from uh, Doug Hazelman from Veeam, uh, reviewing some of the, the release for Hyper V. Okay. Uh. Veeam backup for Hyper V support. So I know you'll be happy about that. No, I, <laughs> I have no agenda on the Hyper V. I've just okay. always I well, always want to hear where you're going. You seem to. I do. Not. It's, it's, it's like Hyper V. Hyper V. So I got some good information out, Doug, uh, about some of the future products coming out from Veeam, uh, which will be released at VMworld. Okay. This year, so. Okay. Continuing. And you'll be at, so you'll be at VMworld. Yes, I will be. What other shows awesome. do you go to? 
mostly the, the Ecologic Conference and, and VMworld. Um, okay. I've done a couple of tech ads, but mostly these well, two. Well, I, 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 I know the Cube will be at uh, uh, will be at VMworld, yeah. so uh, yep. you, you should definitely Stop swing by. by Absolutely, and talk to talk, talk to Risen about that. Yeah, excellent. Um, and you know, from a, a standpoint on, on the blog, mm -hmm. um, what? How, how did you get started? You know, for anybody watching that mm -hmm. is into all of the virtualization wants stuff, wants to be a blogger, wants to be a podcaster. The, what's yeah, your exactly. Advice? You have to have a topic that you that your audience wants to listen to and wants to right. read about. And my topic was, you know, there was there was I basically was involved with the VMware communities very heavily, mm -hmm. and there was no people were always asking questions about uh, about firmware releases, about hardware releases, about how do I do this and how do I do that. Uh, in, in equal logic and VMware, and I just found a, a topic, and I started posting and started writing about it. And before I knew about it, it you know, it just started to blow up from there. And, and we'll <laughs> so, it so it has to be something you're passionate about. It has to be something you're yeah. passionate about. Okay. Yeah, definitely, definitely. What VMware group do you, do you belong to? User group? Uh, in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia. In Philadelphia. Yes. Okay. Yep. Definitely. I got invites to that. I want to come down. My brother lives in Philadelphia. I got to come <laughs> oh, down to go. that VMUG. He's from Boston. Yeah. I'm in Boston. Yeah. yeah, it's a good VMUG. Good how, many guys. Guys. how many people come to that VMUG? Uh, well, we have a you know I think there's a, a monthly event. Yeah. And once a year okay. we have a very large event. Right. Um, and usually the monthly events we have about 100 people. Uh, and the big event we had I think last year or this year we had close to 500. Maybe? Wow. Or, good. Or well, come on, good. come on up to New England uh, in yeah. the summer. You know, it's not yeah. so bad. And, yeah. and there's yeah. a huge one up in. Uh, in Maine, yes, so I heard about that. Yeah, nice. yeah so definitely. Seven or eight hundred people come to that. So <laughs> all right. Well, thank awesome. you so much. Great. Thank, thank you. Again, that was Jonathan, Jonathan Franconi. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So.